Hi, I'm Sides. This is how you can build a demo in Logic fast, so you don't have to pay hundreds of dollars for producers to build a demo for you, or you don't have to invest all of your time into a song until you know that you love it. Step one, record in chords and vocals. Here are my chords and vocals. Step two, start building your bass line. So the fastest way to add a bass line is to double click on your chord progression, press Command A to select all, then press Shift arrow key down to select just the bass notes, then press Command C to copy, right click in this area and say new software track, and then do Command V to paste. Now we're gonna press Shift Option arrow key down to lower it an octave. Now you can pick a bass instrument, you can pick it over here, but I'm gonna go over here to instrument, select sculptor, and I'm gonna go down to where it says bass, and I'm going to pick this tight bass. The first thing you can do to make your bass more interesting is to change up the rhythm. I like to have my scissor tool on the right mouse click. You can access that by pressing command comma, or you can just change the arrow to scissor tool and just go through and chop it up. Then you can go through and decide if you wanna shorten some things or you can delete things entirely and just mess around until you find a rhythm that you like. The next thing you can do is you can add octaves. So to do this quickly in Logic Pro is select a note and press Shift Option arrow key down to lower an octave. If you want to add a force legato, all you have to do is press Shift Backslash. And the third way you can spice up your bass line is to add some passing tones. So I'm gonna chop this one up again. And keep messing around until you get something that you like. Step three, add in your marker arrangements. I like to add both markers and arrangement markers. To do so, you're gonna click this button. I like to get rid of the other ones that I'm not using by pressing control click here and unselecting signature, unselecting tempo. Then I'm gonna create the markers first, add a marker. I'm gonna go through and chop them up per section. And then I'm gonna go through and label each of them. So this is my intro. And to label them, all you have to do is double click. So here are my markers, and now I like to color code them. To color code them, all you have to do is press Option C, and then I'm gonna go through and select Shift on the intro and put red for my intro. Now I'm gonna do all the verses, so I'm gonna hold down Shift and click on all of the verses. Let's say I do yellow for them. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for pre-chorus. Selected pre-chorus, hold down Shift. Let's do green for the pre-chorus. All of the choruses, I'm gonna do magenta. And the outros, I'm going to do purple. Step four, finish your bass line. Now before we add in our drums, I'm going to create a bass line for each section. So I'm just going to slightly alter this bass line for the verse, for the pre-chorus, and for the chorus. Step five, add in arrangement markers. Once you have your keys, your vocals, and your bass line, the next thing you wanna do is go over to the markers and select convert to arrangement markers. Step six, add in your drums. Now when you right click in here and you do new drummer track, the drum pattern is gonna follow the progression of your song, varying the intensity and the instrumentation between the intro, verse, pre-chorus, and chorus. I like to go through this and edit it a little bit myself, so I'm going to do so. So here are my drums for my full song. Intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, chorus. Step seven, add in your counter melodies. I like to create a couple simple melodies with a call and response using about three to five notes each melody. Here are the melodies I created. This is the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. Notice how each of the melodies have different rhythms, move in different directions, and are in different octaves. So all together with the chords, it sounds like this. Half 
have a lot of fun creating these. Now, every two to four bars, I want to add something or take something away. So I moved around the melodies into different sections of the song. When I figured out my drum pattern, some sections only had the kick playing, the pre-chorus only had the kick and the hi-hat, and then when the chorus came in, I had an almost full drum pattern. On the outro, I added a percussion. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, baby. Step eight, add in transitions. I'm going to show you three transitions. The first one is really easy. It's just to add a silence. So I'm going to add a silence right before the first chorus hits, basically just by moving everything over one beat. This is what that sounds like. By some others, not as good as you come on and tell you love me. The second transition you can add are drum fills. I really like doing this with the Logic Drummer. So I'm going to chop up this last beat. I'm going to hold down Option, click on the Logic Drummer, and then drag it over here to copy and paste. Now I can extend this out, double click on it. I can adjust the fill and mess around until I get something I like. So this is how the song can start. The last transition I'm gonna show you are reverse symbols. So I found this symbol in the Logic Loop Library and I'm just gonna drag it right into my chorus here. This is what it sounds like. Soloed. And I'm going to hold down option to copy and paste it over here. Now I'm going to click this to reverse it and it'll sound like this. So if I added another silence, this is what it will sound like with the track. Come on, me. Step nine, add in background vocals. So now I added my background vocals, I have my lead vocals, I have some transitions, I have some counter melodies, I have my drum progression, I have my bass, and I have my chords. And voila, now you have a demo of your song. This is mine. Now remember, this is not a fully produced track. This is just a rough demo so I can decide if it's worth it to invest in a producer or if it's worth it for me to produce the song myself. Tell me you love me. 
I really hope this helps. I'm Sides. See you next time.